cold out there. I'm Katie Jeffries. Hey, and I'm Brooks Baptiste. Thanks so much for waking up with us. So we're doing things a little differently today. It is our <laughs> producer Brandon's final day here oh. with us on GMJ. So to celebrate, Katie J, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to just hang out with you a little bit on the desk. Let's do today. it. We it's can make it happen. It's 4.30 okay. in the morning. <laughs> and the meeting that was supposed to happen today to decide the fate of JEA's former CEO has been delayed indefinitely. The city's lawyer is asking for more time to investigate if there is enough cause to fire Aaron Zahn. Now, if there is, the city would owe him nothing. Otherwise, they'd be on the hook for over $800,000 in severance pay. Well, no one would argue that St. Augustine is a very beautiful place, but many say the city has had trouble keeping up with its popularity by picking up after its visitors. On Your Size, Jeff Vallon looks at efforts to improve trash removal compared to the busy holiday season a year ago. All right, thanks for that, Mike. We're on your side this morning, protecting your banking information, social security numbers, and any personal information after one woman found a company stole her contact information. So you know it, she called our On Your Side's investigator, Ken Amiro, for help. All right, did you hear about this? Burger King is also adding to its menu as well. The company announced it will now feature the impossible croissant witch. Well, you may remember that in the August of last year, they released the impossible Whopper, which came with a lot of controversy, but the new breakfast sandwich will include a seasoned plant-based sausage patty from Silicon Valley's Impossible Foods. We were just saying, but what plant is it based off of? What is in this stuff? Yeah, that it tastes like a burger, but it... it it's too close to the same taste. Mm-hmm. This makes me a little weird about We need to do like some that, investigative. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right, welcome back, and thanks so much for waking up with us here on GMJ. So we know many of us are immersed in our music playlist as we go about our day. Well, tonight on NBC, a new show will premiere about a woman who sees music come to life before her very eyes. Mark Barger previews Zoe's extraordinary playlist. Well, Trini, this morning, YouTube will be the official playlist and live stream partner for the music festival Coachella. Now, we know they're celebrating 20 years of partying this year. The platform will also release the featured documentary Coachella 20 Years in the Desert, which will take viewers behind the scenes of planning the huge production. It will premiere March 31st this year. And happening in Hollywood, actor Timothy Chalamet is in talks to play famed musician Bob Dylan in a biopic about the singer's life. The film is unofficially titled Going Electric, and it will focus on the pivotal moment when Dylan decides to make a leap from folk music to rock and roll and the influence of his work. No word yet on when it will be released. The 2024 Summer Olympics will be in Paris, France. How? <laughs> I know I, hey, it takes a lot of talent, you know, it, it's interesting because we were saying like, um, you know, some of the new sports for this year are skateboarding, surfing, I think karate and now 2024 breakdancing. That is crazy to me. You think I could maybe qualify in there somewhere, Katie? Probably you, not. You've got four years, so Thank you got to start prepare. training I'm going to start today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for that, Katie. We know it is a new year, but that doesn't mean we're out of the clear for the flu season. Hello, Gardner Minshew here. After a long rookie year, I've decided to take a step back, recenter myself the only way I know how. This is like the best video on the I internet right now. Jags rookie <laughs> quarterback Gardner Minshew is going across the country. The 23-year-old took to, why did not I know he was 23 years old? I did not know he was that young. All right, the 23-year-old took to his Instagram to announce his RV road trip during the offseason, and he asked if you know anyone from here, Jacksonville, to Los Angeles, he wants you to reach out to him with some suggestions on where he should go to maybe eat and what he should be doing when he mm -hmm. hits these different places. There's got to be some good, like, like stops for him, you know, like the world's largest cowboy boot or like I could just see him like visiting these interesting little monuments along the way. I wonder, is he going to find another place that appreciates the, the jorts, the shorts that he has on because, um, you know, everybody loves him for that. That's just crazy. That must be the life. I know. And that's a nice RV that yeah. he had behind him. Brand new. That's pretty that's nice. Pretty I just, nice. I adore Gardner <laughs> Minshew. We're so lucky to have him here. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You know, we've been experiencing roller coaster temperatures. One day is warm, the next day is cold. So many of us have been traveling, staying up late, and some folks are even stressed out over Christmas and New Year's, right? Well, this is the perfect storm for a brutal flu season, especially here in Duval County, a high-risk flu zone. Our Eliza Powell is on your side this morning with a warning. 